All right, so this is Molly. Molly is the tiniest dog in the world. She's a Yorkie Poo. I believe she's also got a little hamster in her. Hey, get out of there. And uh, we are gonna be litter box training Molly. Now we've already started, and this is how you start it off. So obviously, naturally, they're not going to just walk over to a litter box and use it. So they have to be given the choice to use it. And this is how you do that. So what we have is a big Tupperware here, big one. Big enough to put the litter box on one side, her bedding on the other, and her food and water. Now why you do that is because dogs in general don't like to go to the bathroom where they sleep and eat, so they're gonna want to go to the other side to go to the bathroom. And we've already had success. If you saw that, I don't know. Up there on the top. She has used it a couple times, and actually this morning she went poop in it. And we already cleaned it out, took a, a piece of tissue, picked it up, and flushed down the toilet and that was all there was so now after she uses this for a while what we can start doing is when I bring her out and working with her we'll also bring the litter box out and take her over there after she eats and drinks for a while and then when she uses it we'll reward her for using the litter box but this is Molly as you can see she is smaller than my hand and she's incredibly cute. Yes, you are. And uh, so that is how you start off litter box training a dog. And you can follow along with Molly and I on this little uh, oddball journey. All right. Say bye, Molly. Bye. I know. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.